Marty Wasserman and Audrey Morgan join me now with superfood fruit juices for improved health, longevity, and anti-aging. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks for having us. So anything for health and anti-aging and longevity, certainly we want to hear more about. So tell us about these superfood fruits. What are they? All right. Well, they're, uh, they're exotic super blends. So what we're getting is a lot of nutrients for immunity. They help to boost our longevity, and we're getting lots of color and lots of flavor. So there's five different ones that I want to talk about today. Okay. So acai, you know, being a beautiful color, high in antioxidants, more than the average berry. Goji berry, which you're seeing over here in fresh form, over here in dried form. We're getting protein and iron and obviously some beautiful antioxidants. And the this one's the mango steen, which looks like this in fresh form. And we're getting potassium and magnesium, noni, B vitamins, and sea buck Sea buckthorn. What's amazing about this one is 12 times more vitamin C than an orange. Oh my goodness. And how much would you need to consume of the juice in order to get that benefit? A couple tablespoons. That's it? That's a very small amount. And do you drink it straight or do you mix it in water? How do you consume it? I put it straight into a smoothie bowl. I'll drink it in a glass of water. You can put it into porridge, anything really. Or just take a shot. Take a shot. <laughs> take a shot of it. So speaking of this, of, do, what did you call this? A breakfast bowl. A breakfast bowl. Yeah. So we're going to make this breakfast bowl together right now. So why don't you tell us what goes into this? All right. So you can use any non-dairy milk of choice. So we have rice milk here. You can use coconut milk. So if you want, you can pop that right into the blender. Why did you choose a non-dairy milk? Just easier for digestion. I, yeah. I, you know, I'm not a fan of the in inflammatory aspect of, of dairy. So we want to make sure everything eases on digestion and just better for you, better for the planet. Great. We've got some berries here as well. So just pop those in. Yep. And then I'll have, uh, Audrey, if you want to pass those along and pop those in and then maybe talk about where Whoops. we can get these beautiful super fruit juices. Well, these are exotic, beautiful foods that if you had to go and get them in the world, you'd be on the plane for a long, long time. Your best place to get them um, are whole food uh, shops, health food stores, and uh, we at Health Plus Nutrition Center in Ajax, we just love these juices. Genesis today reflects everything that we love. We love organic, whole food, non-GMO, completely reflected in Genesis Today juices. They're ethically sourced, organic, beautiful. That's fabulous. And look how colorful that is. So if you want to put the banana and the spinach in there. Oh, this is, these are giant spinach leaves. Yeah, well, I you guess, know. Yeah. <laughs> but you just need a little bit. What's beautiful about this, it's a great way to get your greens into your smoothie. Make sure you're buying organic greens as well too. Right, it makes a lot of sense. Blend that up. What you get here is a beautiful bowl. And then we can go ahead and garnish it with some of the goji berries some of the chia seeds, and the mango scene if you'd like, and now you've got breakfast on the go, ready to go, loaded with superfoods, perfect for this time of year, boosting our immunity, cold and flu season. And so where is the recipe? So if our viewers want to make this at home and that went fast forward, then where can they find the recipe for this? GenesisToday.com. GenesisToday.com, yes. that is excellent. And let's talk about some of the different the different berries. Where do they grow? I mean, we can't find them locally. I guess, can you grow this in your own home? Well, things like the goji berry plant, you can find locally. A lot of them are exotic and from different parts of the world, so we need to be mindful based on the season when we can get access to them. That's why some of the dried forms and even in frozen pulp forms, we can get that at different health food stores, and I'm sure you've got some forms of that too. We do, we do, and it just makes it so convenient. And you're not, they're not like some juices where you're pouring an eight ounce glass for yourself. These are really concentrated juices. They pack an incredible nutritional punch. You're only using a few tablespoons at a time, maybe about an ounce. And when you're mixing them with all these other fresh foods, it's just incredible nutrient density. That's what you're looking for in everything you prepare and everything that you make and consume in a day. How often should you have a couple of tablespoons, is, is it once a day at breakfast or can you have it throughout the day? Or I guess you would want to mix and match depending on what your nutritional needs are. You got Certainly. it. You got it. So you can put a little bit in your morning water, some later on in the day in, the sm in a smoothie. So whatever feels right. You know, as long as you're getting them more days in a week than not, then that's great. How mm -hmm. can you determine which one is best for you? So depending on your nutritional needs, how do you find that out? Well, based on, I'd say that the health profile of them, you may want to pick and choose. You know, right now, the sea buckthorn great for cold and flu season with the vitamin C aspect, but it also could be a flavor thing too. The noni is a little bit strong in flavor, so that might be something that you want to have once in a while, but the longevity power that you're getting in that one is insurmountable. So, And it's great to mix and match. And I mean, if you enjoy a bottle of this uh, one week, 
select something different for the next week. Anytime you can mix and match and get a whole variety of different foods in, in your diet, the better off you are of getting a full complement of nutrition. It makes a lot of sense too because they even recommend when you're going to start eating, let's say, a lot of nuts for breakfast, you should mix them up yeah. as well. And even supplements, you might want to try changing up your supplements. Mm -hmm. Would this replace a multivitamin? Easily it could. Mm -hmm. You're getting so much in them and you're getting a full wide spectrum of vitamins and minerals. So you absolutely, always food first. That's always my goal. You know, and what's beautiful about this is that it's food form in juice, no added sugar, highly concentrated, and you're getting a whole whack of nutrition. Do you have another favorite recipe that you would recommend for people when they're consuming this or another favorite fruit juice? Oh, I would say popsicles. Popsicles are a great way to get it into kids if they're not fussy on the texture of a smoothie bowl. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you run into problems with that, but a popsicle is a brilliant way. What a you can get spinach fabulous. into a child in a popsicle form that you might not ordinarily. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. Pleasure. A popsicle, what a great idea. Paul Dobbs and Hannah Tour join us when we return. Stay with us. That is